Hey, what's up YouTube? GoPro Youth Man here. Over the past several weeks, I've had an amazing time hanging out with the Forte 3s and the RF 7.2s. The Forte 3s, as I mentioned in a previous video, are absolutely fantastic. They have great, great sound. But yesterday I posted an audio video demo of the Forte 3s being compared to the Klipsch RF 7.2s. And so today in this video, I just wanted to share with you my thoughts of how the Forte 3s compare in sound quality to the Klipsch RF 7.2s in my home with my own ears connected to my own gear. Now keep in mind, it's going to sound different in every room. Every room has different acoustics, which changes the way the speaker sounds. You can have amazing speakers and have a horrible acoustics and it's gonna change the sound. Here in this dedicated theater room, I have acoustic panels on the wall, which helps with reflections. And so things like that will affect the sound. So with that said, I just wanted to share with you my thoughts of how the Forte 3s line up against the RF 7.2s. So the first thing I'd like to say about the Forte 3s, they're fantastic. I have loved every minute of hanging out with them, playing with them, cranking them, trying different music with them. And they're just an incredibly beautiful, uh, not only cosmetic looking speaker, but beautiful sounding as well. But the Clips Forte 3s do have a signature sound that is different than what we find in the reference series and especially in the RF 7.2s. Now I listened over the past several days to a wide variety of music, ranging from classical to jazz, to hip hop, to rock and roll. So in my listening sessions, I found that the Forte 3s really excel in things like jazz. Saxophones sound amazing. An upright bass sounds amazing. Classical music, pianist, vocals, especially female vocals, sounded fantastic on the Forte 3s. But one thing I noticed with the Forte 3s is they do not extend as low and they're not as powerful and deep and punchy as the RF 7.2s. The Forte 3s will handle down to 38 hertz, while the RF 7.2s will handle down to 30 hertz. So what I found in just about every song is the RF 7.2s had more bottom end. The bass that was produced with the Forte 3 sounded great. It was full. It just didn't have the same impact. I didn't feel it. I heard it, but I didn't feel it like I did with the RF 7.2s. So what I found with the RF 7.2s is they sound fantastic with things like rock, pop, hip hop, anything that you like to kind of crank on it, they love the gas. The more clean power you feed them, the better they sound and the more alive that they become. One question I've been getting a lot over the past couple of days in the Clips forums, as well as the Clips Facebook pages that I'm a member of, is which speaker sounds the best? Well, here's one thing I can tell you. Both of them are awesome. So to me, the question isn't which speaker is better. The better question is which speaker do I prefer in my own home connected to my own gear with the music that I like to listen to. So after listening to music over several days that I prefer, drum roll please, that my ears prefer the sound of the RF 7.2s. Now I know you heritage guys are gonna be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe he likes the RF 7.2s better than the heritage. I mean, come on, the mid-range horn is incredible. Indeed it is, but it's really incredible for things like jazz and classical music. And unfortunately, I don't listen to any jazz and I don't listen to any classical. Most of the time when I'm listening to my clip speakers in my living room, my two channel setup, I've got the volume cranked up. I have some kind of music on that has a solid beat and a bass line. And I wanna be able to feel that bass as I'm listening to music. And keep this in mind, the Forte 3s would really benefit from having a quality sub. Now most of you guys out there have a quality sub. I myself have four Clips RSW15s. The agreement between me and my wife was I can do whatever I want in this theater room. However, she does not want to have a subwoofer in the living room. So one of the things that I'm always looking for is the speaker that provides great quality audio, can crank really loud with clean power and still sound good, and has enough bottom end to move me and I can feel it in my chest. Unfortunately, the Forte 3s just aren't that speaker for me. If I had an RSW15 that I had in the living room, 
that would be a different story. There's a few other reasons that I prefer the RF-72s over the Forte 3s. Number one is the height of the speaker. Now I know that sounds kind of weird, but the reason why I like the height of the RF-72s is because the tweeter and the mid-range are more in line with my ears. The Forte 3s sit a little bit lower. The mid-range horn is really shooting at my midsection as opposed to my ears. Now I've heard a lot of guys say, well, Michael, you need to lift them up, put them on a stand. When I had the Heresy 3s, I got the same response. The Heresy 3s will sound so much better if you just put them on a riser, raise them up about 18 inches. Honestly, I think that's pretty ridiculous. Why would I want to raise a speaker that was intended and designed to sit on the floor? To me, if clips needed the speakers raised, then they should have built a taller cabinet or built a higher riser. I don't wanna have my speakers in my living room sitting on a box. Even if it's a pretty box, even if it looks great, it just seems really ludicrous and silly for me to raise it up. Also, by raising the Forte 3s, I'm gonna lose even more bottom end, which I don't want. I'm already not pleased as well with the Forte 3's bottom end as I am with the RF 72s. So to me, the RF 72s provide everything that I'm looking for. They have the clarity, they have the detail, they have the highs, they have the slam, they have the mid-range, they look modern, and to top it off, my ears will give out before my RF 72s do. So as I wrap up this video, if you're considering the Forte 3's, don't let this video discourage you. They're fantastic. To me, it really just depends on what type of music do you like to listen to. If you're into Metallica, honestly, they don't sound that great. They're okay, but they don't have that slam when that double bass drum is going to town, you're not gonna feel it in your chest. If you're into rap or hip hop, the Forte 3s are definitely not the speaker for you. But if you're into music that has beautiful vocals, acoustic, jazz, classical, those types of things, maybe vinyl, you're probably gonna love the Forte 3s. They sound incredible. Pair them with a quality sub and you're gonna have one heck of a two-channel system. I mentioned to you earlier in the video about the Clips Owners Facebook group as well as the Clips Forum. I've been a member and now a moderator of the Clips Forum for many years. The Clips Forum, I've received incredible advice. I met some great friends and I've learned a lot about speakers and audio from guys that have way more experience than I do. If you're not a member of the Clips Forum, I'd highly recommend you checking them out. It's got a wealth of information and I know it'll be a blessing to you. And I'm also a member of the Clips Owners Facebook group. If you're on Facebook and you love Clips, I highly recommend that you check out the Clips Owners Group. It's headed up by Corey Harrison. Corey is an authorized Clips dealer in Paducah, Kentucky, and he has his own business called Paducah Home Theater. If you're looking to put together a system, Corey is an amazing guy. I've had a great, great experience with him uh, when I picked up the Forte 3s from him. He offers great communication. Every time I had a question about the order, about shipping, about uh, just general questions about the Forte 3s, Corey replied almost immediately. Probably the best way to reach him is on Facebook or Facebook Messenger. He loves Clips, he loves the Clips community, and he loves dealing with people. And so I highly recommend Corey if you need any Clips audio gear. He also sells other things like SVS, Parasound, some high-end stuff. He can definitely hook you up, I believe, with the best pricing. So I'll leave a link to both the Clips forum as well as the Clips Facebook page and Corey's website in case you're interested in those things. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thank you so much to all of you that have subscribed. Man, this channel has been growing and I'm super excited about that. I'll continue to put out great content for you. If there's some suggestions that you have, things that you wanna see, whether in the home theater or in my two channel setup, I'd love to hear your comments and your feedback. Please feel free to leave those in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new to this channel, I'd love for you to subscribe. And as always, you guys have an incredible week and be blessed.